What you really need in your business is more business, more sales, more orders, more profitable sales. And this video is about how you can actually decide which opportunities you want to follow in your sales funnel. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. I'm a leadership coach for entrepreneurs and I'd like to help you to become a better leader so that you can manage the complexities of your business better, manage your team better, sell more and sell more profitably. Today's video is about opportunity qualification, i.e. choosing the opportunities that you should go for and deselecting the ones in your funnel that are not worth following. A good salesperson or somebody who's after business in the B2B arena that I'm actually concentrating on has, when a lead or a potential opportunity pops up, basically three questions. Now, these are the three essential questions. How, how much is the potential deal worth? when can it probably be closed and how sure is it that it will be closed. Now, that still doesn't mean that you want to follow this opportunity, develop it, invest probably a lot of time, effort, blood, sweat and tears into winning something. You would like in an ideal situation to qualify that lead first. And in order to qualify that lead, the most important thing there are actually four questions. And the most important one is, or not, it's not the most important one. The first one is, is it actually an opportunity? Or are we chasing, you know, a phantom? Is it an opportunity? So what you would have to ask your customer is, for example, has a formal project been started? What will happen if you don't implement this solution or if you don't buy this product? That will give you a reason for buying a so-called compelling reason. Does that compelling reason exist? A third question might be, have you allocated a budget to that? So if the answers to these questions are yes, if there is a compelling reason, if a formal project has been started, if a budget, budget has been allocated, you can be quite sure that you are talking about a real sales opportunity. Question number two is, can we compete? This is about your strengths and weaknesses actually in your business and about what you are strong at and what you're weak at. Um, is your product competitive? Does it have all the features that you need? Do you have the skills in your company that, that you need? Etc. 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 Are you well connected with uh, the decision makers in your potential client's company and so on and so on. So these are all questions that you have to ask yourself in order to understand if you are actually competitive in this specific situation. Question number three is, can you win? Well, that question actually is very important because here you analyze potential strengths and weaknesses of your competitors. How well are they connected to the client? What are the advantages of their solution? How long have they been working with your potential client? Um, which people of the competition are maybe working on this deal? How long have they been in business and so on and so on. So this is actually very much about the competitive analysis and uh, from that you can actually get a feeling and a good view on your probability of winning that deal, on the probability of winning that deal. And number four is, do we want to win it? That is maybe something that we could also make number two, because if it does not fit your strategy, if at the very beginning you can already see that the deal will be too small, or you can see that what else could be a, a, a question? Well, you can see, for example, an example uh, that you will not be able to deliver. Even if you win it, you will not have the people. Then you might say no, and that is better than, you know, getting a customer in at the end of the day that is uh, who is not uh, satisfied. So this was about opportunity 
qualification, which is very, very important when you are working on big deals, big opportunities in your business. And the sooner you make a conscious decision on what you want to follow, the less costly the whole process will be for you. So first of all, ask yourself, is it really an opportunity? Secondly, are we competitive? Can we compete? Number three, can we win? And number four, do we want to win? The LIFE program actually teaches you all the tips, tricks and tools and methods of successful sales and leadership for entrepreneurs within weeks. If you would like to apply for a private session with me, please click on the link underneath this video and apply for a chat. It is not at all salesy. Uh, what we will definitely do is we will come up with a plan. Your result will be a plan on how you can actually improve your sales. If you would like to speak with me immediately, just write me a WhatsApp. The number is on the screen right now. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Also feel free to share it. I would be very happy about this. This was Armin Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.